So hello everyone and welcome to my uh, Shui uh, VI8 uh, tablet review. So uh, this is the tablet. As you can see, it's powered by Intel inside. Uh, it's a VI8 model and it's uh, fully <laughs> it's designed and made in China. So uh, it's a hundred dollar tablet. You can I got it from Geekbang.com. Uh, I had very good experience with them, so I will definitely recommend uh, them for you. Uh, here we have, so let's see what the tablet looks like. It is uh, fully black. Uh, I put on a screen protector that's uh, a little bit anti-glare, but uh, don't mind it. So here, as you can see, we have the micro SD slot on the side. On the bottom side, nothing. On the right hand side, we have the power button and the volume uh, buttons. On the top side, so since this is the dual OS uh, version of the Shui VI8, uh, uh, that means uh, we it's coming with the micro uh, micro HDMI slot, which is right here, and uh, this is the micro uh, micro USB slot. Here we have the uh, headphone jack, uh, and I have to say this is not a very good quality one, so it's a little bit choppy on the on the headphones. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Here we have um, a, a touch sensitive uh, home screen button, which works both on Windows 8 and on uh, uh, Android. So let's start the the tablet. Now I'm using uh, Windows uh, Android. Uh, OS on this now. I'm gonna show you Android and then I'll move to uh, Windows 8. So let's start again. So uh, I'm really actually surprised about how well Android and bo both Android and Windows uh, run on this tablet. Remember, it's a hundred uh, dollar tablet, or hundred twenty to be hundred twenty to be more accurate. Mm, so. Android on this tablet is very good uh, compared to the Techlast or the Honda. Uh, Andro uh, Play Store works out of the box. There is no problems with it. Uh, as you can see, it's very reactive. You can install any apps you want or books or whatever. I uh, already have mine installed. Uh, let me show you the home screens. As you can see, it's a very uh, stock Android uh, experience. So uh, this something that I like about this tablet because they didn't uh, add any things that make it slow or something it's very reactive uh, very quick see no lags at all um, I can show you now uh, here let's go to the settings I can show you it's running Android 4.4.4 uh, the KitKat version it's not a joke so <laughs> on some on some Chinese phones they lie about this but this is uh, actually Android KitKat. I don't know if there will be uh, an update to Lollipop. I have no idea about that, but as you can see, at least it's not uh, a joke. There you go. Uh, as you can see, we can multitask. Everything works perfectly fine on this uh, on this tablet. You can show you YouTube if you want. Uh, let's see what we can load. Let's load this advertisement. As you can see, uh, it's very snappy, very quick, uh, works really well. I can show you now the speaker. The speaker is not that good. That's one of the downsides of the tablet. It's a hundred dollar tablet, so as you can see the speaker is right here. Wait one second. The speaker is right here. It's really small. And it's not that great, you know. Uh, I would say it's more than enough to watch. Uh, the news on this tablet, but definitely not watch or hear, listen to uh, watch movies or listen to music. You can have to use maybe a Bluetooth, uh, uh, Bluetooth uh, speaker, or maybe use it on the TV with the micro HDMI uh, cable. So that's pretty much it. The uh, Wi-Fi works really well. Uh, I had a little bit of issues at the beginning, but they resolved themselves by themselves. So can show you another application here this is showbox as you can see it it's really fast uh, loaded instantaneously uh, instantaneously uh, 
yeah, that's it. That's pretty much it. That's what I can show you about Android. Uh, it's really stock experience. So, you, of course, you can add uh, widgets. Now I'm using uh, a Nova uh, launcher, but uh, you can. I can even show you the original uh, launcher on this tablet. So, how do I go there? No, no, no. Uh, how do I open it? I can show you the onto two benchmark I had uh, I think 30 29,000 or 39,000 I forgot one second I uh, disappeared it didn't stay uh, I really don't remember how much I got on this uh, on this uh, tablet but I can do it later so we can I can show you I can show you how uh, uh, where is it? There you go. You see the original launcher on this tablet. Uh, I think it doesn't look that good, as you can see. It's right here. You know, it's very, very stock experience. Uh, nothing really impressive about it. Uh, so that's why I'm using uh, Nova Launcher. So now we're gonna move to. Windows and to move to Windows all you have to do is swipe here your quick uh, settings menu and then That's it. There's a toggle or a switch you press it and that's it. The tablet now will reboot by itself um, I would say 99% of the time it works really well uh, The tablet actually reboots into Windows o Windows OS You can see now it's loading It's gonna be the one second, there you go. The loading uh, icon on Windows OS, uh, Windows 8 OS. Uh, it works really well. Sometimes uh, it freezes on a black screen, and you can simply fix that by turning off the the tablet and re restarting it with the with the button here. Uh, but that's really rare, and most of the time it it boots really quick. Uh, so as you can see, this is Windows OS 8, and it's a fully functional Windows uh, 8 tablet. It's really a, a PC. If you if you connect a keyboard and a, a mouse to this tablet, it really is a, a PC, and it's really impressive how fast it is. So let me show you how quick it types. As you can see, really reactive. No no bugs. No nothing. No lag. Uh, so let me load into my account one second there you go very fast very fast uh, pressed enter and it loaded very quickly as you can see uh, it's very reactive very snappy no lags at all and it's very impressive remember this is a hundred dollar tablet and as you can see Windows uh, Windows 8 works like a, like a like a charm. Um, what I can show you. So you see how uh, the touch screen reacts very quickly. Uh, no bugs at all. The touch screen is actually very very nice. The screen is not the best, of course. The resolution is, I think, of. Uh, I can show you that in here. The resolution is of uh, 1200 by 800. Yeah, that's what it is. Um, not the best, but still very very nice for a hundred dollar tablet again. Uh, so if you wanna, if you're in Windows OS and you wanna go to Android, all you have to do is find this little icon here on the taskbar, press it, and then press OK. Uh, it asks you if you wanna go. I'm not gonna do it now. Uh, also, what I did is uh, I removed actually this this one from here, and I found the uh, I put it here. So I, I don't like it sticking in here. Uh, let's see. So this tab is actually is uh, very nice. You can I installed Steam on it and actually got to play Counter Strike Source. But uh, now I can't show you that because I you installed it for memory uh, <laughs> for for memory space. Now the big downside about this tablet, at least on Windows OS, is that. It's a 32 gigabyte tablet and it's uh, split between Android and Windows, 
So on Windows, you, you don't get actually that much of uh, memory. As you can see, it's already full, and I really don't have nothing much on it, you know, and except for uh, Microsoft Word and Microsoft Office and uh, and an antivirus. It's really full uh, because of the updates and uh, Windows OS itself. I have a couple of apps, but nothing more, you know. Uh, what can I show you? So let's see how well it performs. We're gonna start Internet Explorer. As you can see, it's uh, loaded very quickly. Let's open a new tab. Let's go to YouTube. You know, see how quickly it loads, and there it is. So look how snappy it is. This is as good as my laptop. So. <laughs> Well, my laptop is i7, but still, remember, this is a $120 tablet, and in total it cost me 130 with the uh, 5 days uh, shipment with DHL. So $130, I got it in less than a week, and I mean, look, look how snappy it is. You can, of course, uh, open more windows, more tabs. Let's go to, I don't know, let's go to Google. Oh uh, no, this is not Google, this is a website. Actually, this is a good website to show you because it's, uh, it needs Flash Player and... Oh no, no, don't worry, sometimes it brings up this little error, but most of the time it's... Uh, all you have to do is uh, reload the page, so let's do it again. No, 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 this is not the right site. Let's see one second. I'm really sorry that had to happen with the video, but uh, you know sometimes uh, bad things happen, and you know except those little errors from time to time, uh, can I cannot really complain about anything because the tablet is very good. Let me show you uh, a website that's full of you know Flash Player, and here we go. As you can see, this website is really full of things, as you can see, and works really well. Uh, what can I show you? Videos. Uh, this is the videos tab. This is the donate. So, uh, very, very nice tablet, you know. I can multitask, of course. You can see here. And here we can open, I don't know, daily motion. You see. See? They work both uh, well. On both sides, I can of course uh, move this around, make it bigger or smaller, and I can even use both at the same time, like this. Not, it's very impressive. Now to close, all you have to do is swap up from down, and uh, where is it? Oh no. <laughs> okay, there you go, and you can move it to the uh, multitasking menu. As you can see, all you have to do is now uh, close it. Sorry, shit. Uh, where is it? There you go. As you can see, yes, this is how you multitask. It works very well. Uh, so, you know, except for that, or except for the little problem with the memory, I think it's really small. It has to be at least 64 GB to make a, a dual OS tablet. But for $100, you can forgive anything pretty much as long as it works. and it actually works uh, as, as you saw it. Uh, Microsoft Word, of course, works. It's, mm, gonna, it's gonna load one second because there, I think there's uh, information I have to hide. Okay. So as you can see, it's it's really Microsoft Word. So you don't have to worry about nothing. Uh, again, gonna close it. Uh, what can I show you else? Uh, the brightness, the screen brightness is not that bad, you know. Again, for a $100 tablet, now it is 100%. Of course, there is the, the automatic uh, uh, screen rotation. That's it. That's, yeah, as you can see, I mean, what can you expect for $100 or more? And remember, it has Android 4.4.4 and both uh, and Windows 8.1. So, 
for a hundred dollar tablet both Android uh, and Windows 8 fully function very very well you can even play video games uh, fortunately I cannot show you right now uh, Steam because uh, I had some problems I had to you know start it but it's very uh, snappy it works really well uh, if you have any questions about this tablet I'll be more than happy to answer uh, I think yeah that's pretty much it you know there's nothing more to show, so usually it's an ordinary tablet after all and again for a hundred dollars you get all the stuff in this little piece here, it's 8 inch I mean come on look how I can even hold it with one hand come on, y you have to say it's very impressive and uh, I got it from geekbuying.com I would definitely recommend it for you guys, don't be uh, I was skeptical to buy from them but I received the, the the. Let me actually show you the box one second. This is the box. Here, oh, I cannot show you. Okay, let's see. This is the box, and inside it opens like a, an apple box. Inside you have, uh, you know, very. Uh, the usual stuff one second here we have uh, manuals here we have some cables and uh, the charger which is this one very good quality as you can see uh, very solid and the tablet also comes with a uh, free OTG cable which is uh, very nice of them and uh, that's pretty much it, so thank you for watching, if you have any questions please uh, post them in the comment section below, and uh, hope to see you in the next video, thank you.